so we took a look at these pictures for today, considering your answers from yesterday. Um, you kept it pretty simple, only eight responses anyhow. Uh, one is British, the other the colonies. One has bare legs. One seems more ready to fight. You're split 50-50 on who seems to have a better fighting style, the Continental Army or the British Army. Um, taking a look at them here, differences you might notice. The Brits, um, again, right below me, actually are on horseback. They actually have um, you know, swords at the ready, guns at the ready. Um, whereas if we look at the Continental Army on the other side, we'll see they don't have formal uniforms. Nobody's on horseback. Um, we do at least have one drummer. That could be helpful. These are some of the things you might have noticed, and we're going to break that down a little bit further today. I don't know why that picture is still there. My bad. Um, that's actually yesterday's spell ringer, so it's not still in your slides. I took it out. Um, as I mentioned, the Continental Army, it's kind of disorganized and discouraged. Uh, Washington has Baron von Steuben train the infantry. We talked about that in the Valley Forge lesson. Uh, and Benjamin Franklin, as you hopefully remember, is back in France. While he's in France, he meets this guy, Casimir Pulaski. Uh, he is a Polish war hero who's actually now in exile. I've looked. It's not entirely clear to me why, if he's a hero, he's in exile. But we know that he's in France. Um, I could think of worse places to hang out if you're going to have to leave home. Um, and so Franklin ends up running into him here. And of course, he's trying to recruit and improve the Continental Army. So he realizes that um, Pulaski has a, a experience with cavalry and says, hey, I think maybe we need that as well. So there's a difference between infantry and cavalry. Infantry is your marching units. Cavalry is on horseback and Pulaski is a cavalryman. So this is, uh, I'm going to actually take a pause here as well. Um, just kind of share your thoughts on what you think about infantry versus cavalry. What makes more sense? Do you need both? What would you rather be a part of? Kind of interpret that as you will, your thoughts on infantry versus cavalry.